being touched with the knife or touched with the gun and I'm not being shot and stabbed, then I'm not being attacked. I'm being threatened. Knife in the throat and defense after being cut. There's no defense for being shot in the brain. The defense is before that. Move myself and put pressure on the weapon and redirect it to. I move. I moved. Okay, so that's, that's from the front. But let's talk about from behind. Let's just recognize that I don't know it's a gun. I just know that something's behind me touched me. Maybe it's his finger. Oh crap, maybe it's a knife. What is behind me? I, I don't know, something's touching me. I need to look. I need to identify what's behind me. The fact that someone's behind me and I didn't know it is the first problem, right? That's pretty much my fault. Same reaction regardless of what it is to turn and redirect and look with my eyes to see the other hand. I've redirected it off of me. For the split second, I get to look at that hand. Whatever is dangerous is in that hand. If it's a knife and I'm redirecting, oh crap, I'm moving in and I'm grabbing, controlling the knife. I'm bursting, striking, capturing, grabbing this. Okay, it happens to be a gun. Okay. If it's a gun versus a knife, something different. I strike, I redirected, I'm controlling, I'm attacking or attacking, and now I'm going to grab the weapon, pull it down, rip it up, and smack it. Okay, that's the defense. So if he wanted me dead and I wasn't paying attention, he would just shoot me. And then there's no defense for that. So these scenarios are based on the fact that they want something from you, which means they're expecting you to comply. Let's do a recap. You need to redirect yourself and the gun or yourself and the weapon, whatever it is. You need to look and see, assess the situation. You only have a split second and then go eight. You need to control, attack them so that you can take away the weapon. All guns should be treated like they're loaded. So even though this is a fake gun, you should treat it like it's loaded. Notice how my finger is not in the trigger. It's along the sidewall. It's dangerous only at the tip. The gun, the, the round in the chamber sh should go off. But if you defend it where you grab the gun, you should be able to immobilize or at least limit the functionality of the slide, in which case then the next round should not go off or the weapon should jam.